Hello everyone, welcome to day 22 of learning to program in Ruby. If you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Okay, today we're going to be creating a hash of books and their ratings, and then we're going to be adding books and ratings to that hash. And this is what the program looks like in our editor. And then when we pull it in, I'll just show you real quick. It says, would you like to add another book to your hash? We're going to type yes. What book would you like? And I actually did not think of a book. Let's go. Ender's Game. What rating do you give it? Let's give it a rating of 5. Ender's Game has been added to your novels with a rating of 5. Would you like to add another book to your hash? This time we're going to type no. And now it says sounds good to me. Here's what's in your hash now. American Beauties 5, Titanic, Lord of the Rings, Sharknado, and Ender's Game. Now you see here the Ender's Game has come out as a string, and we will talk about that in the tutorial. Okay, let's go ahead by starting out by creating our hash. And let's make our first book uh, the same as we did with the prior one. Green Eggs. And we're going to set that to 5. And our second item, we're going to do Harry Potter. And then we're going to set that to 8. And our second item, we're going to do Way of Kings. going to set that equal to 6. Alright, let's bring that up here. Alright, now what we're going to do is we're going to prompt the user, we're going to ask the user whether, whether or not they want to add another book to their hash. So we're going to write puts would would you like to add another book to your hash. So we're going to make the answer equal to gets.chomp. Okay. Following that, we are going to create a case statement. And a case statement is, a good way to think about it is, in case this then do this. And so what we're going to write is case. You'll see that it changes color here. And answer. So case answer. And when when answer oh, I'm going to do that. When answer is yes, there we go, my answer is yes, we're going to put what book would you like to add with a question mark. And below that we're going to do book is equal to gets dot chomp. So this will be what the user types in. And now we're going to add the, the book to our novels. So what we will write is novels book. Okay. And then we're going to come below that. I'm going to do puts what rating. We're going to ask the user what rating they would like what rating from 1 to 10 would you give would you give this book okay and we're going to set that equal to gets dot chomp but we need to write rating it's equal to gets dot chomp okay and now what we need to do 
is we need to make our our novel what what our book is we need to make that equal to so we're gonna write novel and then we're gonna write book and now we're gonna set that equal to the rating that we had just given it okay so this is this is how you target this is how you add it to your hash okay you put this in your blocks and then novel book is equal to the rating so whichever you've typed in there okay below that you're gonna write puts and we're just gonna tell the user that it was added into our hash and so what we will do is we will target the hash item book has been added to your hash with a rating with a rating of and then we want to add in what we typed in for rating there we go all right okay and after that we want to end our when but we're still within our case statement so we're going to add another when and we're going to make it so that when it is no we will do something and now we're just going to put sounds good to me with a exclamation point sounds good to me then we will end it and then we will end our case let's go ahead and come out of that following what we will write is puts oh, it's coming up puts your hash let's see here's what your hash let's see how do, how do we want to type this here's what's in your hash now there we go here's what's in your hash now there we go and then we will target that hash so we're going to do our pound symbol or hashtag and then we will do our curlies and we will type in novels after that go ahead and save it and just save it as um, booklist rb and then start command prompt and we will pull that in there we go okay so you can see there's a few errors and let's just go over what they are so it says expecting keyword end on ruby line 20 or not expecting it and so it says and and I, I put the end in here because um, we're going to be adding an if statement in here at some point and I put this end here assuming that um, I needed to end this if, if statement but um, wait since the if statement is not in there yet we do need to delete that so that that's definitely a thinking error on my part and then up here um, the when answer yes we do not need this answer here as I was talking out loud I said when answer is yes I was typing what I was saying and then if we save that I think those are the only two errors that I see so let's save that and then let's try again and pull it in and hit enter and now it's saying expected keyword end expecting end so let's come back in here and figure out what is going on and let's see end we have an extra end here okay and hit save that should be good to go now all right, would you like to add another book to your hash? Type yes or no. So we're gonna type in yes, and it says what book would you like to add? And we will just type in uh, Sherlock Holmes. Sherlock, what rating? From one to 10, would you give this book? We will do nine. Now it says uh, undefined local variable or method for novels. So let's go back in and take a look at our editor. And if we look, it looks like novel, we used novel um, as the name of our hash here. 
and then we called out novels here. So we can either add the S here or we can just get rid of rid of it there, but let's just add the S here because it's more descriptive. Novels, novels, and then save it. And then let's come right back in. I think this is why a lot of a lot of people don't like doing programming tutorials because this, you know, this debugging it goes on all the time. And so, you know, it can be can be kind of embarrassing, but we're gonna plow through anyways. So let's go back in and hit up to reopen it. Would you like to add another book to your hash? Yes. What book would you like to add? Um, what books shall we add? Let's add um, Anne Frank. Hit enter. What rating would you give this book? Let's do a six. And now it has returned. Green Eggs and Ham is five. Harry Potter eight. Way of Kings. And then Anne Frank still has a string is equal to six. And you can see that six has also returned a string and not an integer. And you can tell that by your quotations right there. And then you don't have the quotations on these integers here. So we can still fix that and we're going to do that right now. So this is a dot two symbol. And this, in order to use this, you just come right in here and you do book right there. You dot two underscore symbol. So that will create the book as a symbol within your hash. You can come right back down here as well and type book dot two symbol and you set it equal to rating. Now we want our rating to be an integer. So we're going to do dot two underscore i to integer. Okay, so let's go ahead and save that now. And then let's come right back up here and hit up again. Would you like to add another book to your hash? Yes. What book would you like to add? Let's do Anne Frank again. What rating would you give? Five. And now it shows this is your hash green eggs is equal to five, Harry Potter equal to eight, and then Anne Frank, the new one we added, is equal to five. And it shows it as a symbol like we talked about yesterday, and it made this an integer. Now let's test this if we answer no. So let's hit up again. Would you like to add another book to your hash? We're going to type no. And it says, sounds good to me, and it returns what's currently in your hash already. So what if we wanted to add multiple books? Well, a way we can do that is create a while loop. Now, there's other ways of doing this, but I wanted to re-expose you to while because we, we've, we went over while a while back, and I feel like we need to go over it again. So let's come up here above puts. And we're going to set answer equal to yes. Answer is equal to, or sorry, is equal, or equals yes, is equal to equal. Don't want to get those confused. And then we're going to do while answer is equal to yes. Make sure to put those as a string because the user is going to return a string when they type in yes. So we will write while answer is equal to yes. Then we will put, would you like to add another book to your hash? So you'll come down here and you'll add another end statement. And this is the end that we were referring to earlier. This end actually needs to come back to there. And then this end needs to be below right there. Tuck that up right there. There we go. Okay, so save that. And then let's pull it in. enter. Would you like to add another book to your hash? Yes. What would you like to add? And Frank. Now you'll notice I'm using underscore right now. We will go over being able to have spaces and all that in another tutorial, but for now we're using underscore so that it will return a proper symbol. I'm going to hit enter. What rating would you give this? We're going to do four this time. And now it says Anne Frank has been added to your hash with a rating of four. Would you like to add another book to your hash? I'm going to type yes again what book would you like to add and we're going to type divergent now i haven't read divergent but i know it's popular and so if i spell it wrong i'm sorry divergent what rating would you give divergent again i, I haven't read it so now i'm going to give it an 11 because i have no idea would you like to add another book to your hash 
we're going to type uh, yes because we're going to add one more. What book would you like to add? Um, let's do, um, let's see, Flat, Flat Stanley. Flat Stanley. Again, I don't know if that's right. Uh, what rating from 1 to 10 would you give this book? I would give it a flat rating, which would be 0. And I will hit enter. Would you like to add another book to your hash? Now again, I don't have a problem with Flat Stanley. I was trying to make a joke, and then it came across as offensive to the the uh, students. But uh, I apologize for that. It's a good book. Um, would you like to add another book to your hash? Let's do no this time, and hit enter. And now it says, sounds good to me. Here's what's in your hash now. Green Eggs, Harry Potter, Way of Kings, and Frank, Divergent, and Flat Stanley are all added to the hash. We're going to work on this some more tomorrow. We're going to add, and, and, and the reason we do it, we did it as a case statement is because we are going to be adding more options. So instead of saying yes or no, you will have a third option and then a fourth option as well. Of course, we will change the question up here, not just to would you like to add another book, but we will add, would you like to change your score on one of these books and so forth. So we will see you in day 23 of learning to program in Ruby. Thank you very much. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please go ahead. Also thumbs up and share the video if you liked it and have a good night.